Okay, starting out with an old flower pot I've had for quite some time sitting in the backyard. And because of the round shape, I decided I'm going to do a DIY project by painting it black. This is the paint that I used, that I purchased from Lowe's, and here is the first coat of paint and primer. It's a little shiny. I'm going to let that dry and then go back over it. Actually, I would have preferred a more of a matte finish. Here it is, blue on the inside. I'm not going to paint the inside completely, just as far down as I can on the inside without, um, well, I don't know if it's safe to put paint down in there and put a plant in it. So I'm just gonna paint uh, the upper portion of the rim area. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a little bit on the inside, as you can see. Now here I'm measuring how much of a width that I'm going to need to cut for this pot. Leaving a little bit on each side. So whatever pot you use, you just want to measure it and make sure you just leave a little extra because you want to make sure that the pot gets sits down inside of the uh, stand. As you can see here, I'm drawing my lines. Okay, I have my measurements, so I took it out in the backyard and had it cut. Now, I decided not to let him do the notches because the last time he did it, he kind of screwed it up. So I decided I'm just going to do that by hand and just notch it out and chisel it out piece by piece. So here I'm measuring how much of a distance because they see they're going to interlock just like you see here. I've notched it out. Okay, I have chiseled it out and connected the two pieces together. And I'm going to hold it together with the wood glue. Now, here are the part, one of the legs that I'm going to attach to the cross brace pieces. Now, I have to either, let's see, either I could screw it in by drilling holes, tighten it, but I'm going to use the, um, the dowel pins. But first I'll have to drill holes. Here I'm clamping it down so that it could glue together tightly. Okay, I'm going to try to drill holes in each corner. Okay, here I ended up drilling completely through the dowels. I also took apart the two pieces. It was easier for me because I had bigger dowel pins because I was too lazy to go back to the hardware store and get smaller ones. I had to hammer it in this way by taking the cross pieces apart and do them separately. Now as far as those holes, I had to figure out either I'm going to use plugs or fill it with some wood filler. I'll probably get some plugs when I go back to the hardware store. However, this was a daunting task for amateur. However, you just have to decide how big your pot is. I didn't uh, take the measurements or write them down where I could show you the measurements. Um, you just have to use your own discretion, the size pot, how thick you want the legs to be and go from there. And here is the dowel of the dowel stand, I'm sorry, the pot stand. Now, of course, I have to do some more detailed work to it. But for now, this is it. And I noticed I could have straightened the legs a little bit, but it was too late because the dowel pins were so thick, I had to wedge it in 
Now the legs like this one could have been straighter. Okay, here is the pot on the floor. It looks a little shiny. I'm going to go over it with one more coat. This time I'm going to use a black matte finish on it. The uh, legs are a little crooked, not much. And like I said, I'm going to plug those holes. And I might stain the wood or I might leave it natural. But, and that's the inside. You can see the original color again. And as far down as I decide to paint, I didn't want to go any further than that. But as you know, these pots are very expensive. And I had this pot for years. It used to be on my patio when I lived in an apartment. Okay, I definitely want to give it another coat. And I'm going to leave the legs natural, possibly. And there I stuck a plant in it, just set it down in there for now, just to see how it looks. And one day I'll finish it up. But for now, this is it. Hope you enjoyed the video.